Hi students, class 10, chapter 7, menstruation. Here we are going to see about the volume, volume of cylinder, cone and sphere. In cylinder we have halo and solid and then sphere we have sphere, hemisphere and then halo hemisphere. Let's see one by one. Here we are going to see about the volume of a solid right circular cylinder. See this is the cylindrical shape so here we want to find the volume means volume is nothing but the capacity of this object see here here we have the battery it is a cylindrical shape so we want to find this volume of the cylinder means it is cylindrical shape right exactly so we want to find the volume of this cylindrical shape cylinder means we want to know what is the base area what is the capacity it has that is the actual meaning of volume right what is the capacity so we want to know what is the capacity of this cylinder means we want to know about the base area base is in the shape of circle so base area means pi r square into the object's height into the object's height so volume we can denote it in the form v is equal to that is base area into height base area into height here the base area means it is in the shape of circle so area of the circle is pi r square and the height is denoted into h so pi r square h cubic units here we are finding the volume so base area having the units square units right and height also we have the units so square units into units suppose it is a centimeter means centimeter square base area is centimeter square and the height is in centimeter so centimeter square into centimeter is equal to centimeter cube centimeter cube that is nothing but cubic unit that is nothing but a cubic unit next we see the volume of the halo cylinder volume of the halo cylinder see it is in the shape of halo means imagine this is the halo cylindrical shape so we want to find the volume of this halo cylinder means what is the materials used and what quantity of materials used used in this cylindrical shape is the volume of the halo cylinder so we want to find the volume means volume v is equal to the volume of the outer cylinder the volume of the outer cylinder minus volume of the inner cylinder is the volume of the halo hemisphere the volume of outer cylinder minus volume of inner cylinder see here we have two radius one is the small r another one is the capital r and the height is the same h so volume of the cylinder we know the formula that is pi r square h right so outer radius outer cylinder means we have the pi capital r square h minus pi small r square h inner and outer two radius right so here pi h will be taken out commonly we have r square minus r square cubic units so here also we have cubic units and then pi h into r square minus r square it can be written in the form of a plus b a minus b form also or let me take it as this is the volume of the halo cylinder next we see the volume of the right circular cone right circular cone see whenever we are finding the volume of the right circular cone the cone's volume we cannot be able to find directly because it is not in the natural naturally it is in the artificial shape so directly we cannot be able to find the volume of this particular object cone see here we have the the cone will be take it as the same radius with the height with the same radius with the same height of the cylinder we compare with the volume of the cone with the cylinder see if same radius with same height the cone is filled with some water or some sugar like this if you pour in the same radius or same height h of the cylinder means p 
clearly completely three times of the volume of cone is completely filled the cylinder so three times of volume of cone is equal to volume of the cylinder or otherwise we can say one third of one third of it will be three will be filled means one third of volume of the cylinder volume of the cylinder we know that one third of volume of cylinder three times of volume of cone is nothing but cylinder and then we want to find the volume of cone means one third of the cylinder volume of the cylinder one third volume of the cylinder we know that pi r square h cubic units is the volume of the cone why we cannot be able to find the volume directly means the radius are same but in the height the terms will be reduced here we have the radius see height is h itself the radius is defer to that end of the term here we have r means it is 3 cm means then we here we have 2.8 and then 2 and then 1 and then 0 the radius are defer so we cannot be able to find the volume of the cylinder sorry volume of the cone directly next volume of the sphere the sphere's volume we cannot be able to find directly either we can use the arithmetic arithmetic principle to find the volume of the sphere uh, the sphere will be dropped into the water and then beaker of water and then what is the water displacement that is the calculation of the arithmetic here we have the another way also the sphere is compared with the cone compared with the cone with the same radius with the same height here the height is nothing but the diameter h is equal to d right the same radius and then here h we have the same radius or here also we have the same radius so the volume of the sphere is equal to two times of volume of the cone two times of volume of the cone is the form when the radius are are equal and the height is equal to diameter here the height this height is equal to the diameter of the sphere suppose by using the arithmetic principle means we can take the one beaker and drop the sphere inside the water displacement the water displacement will be captured in the another way total and we can calculate by this method also by here we have two times of volume of sphere is equal to two times of volume of cone two times of volume of cone we know the formula two times of volume of cone the cone formula is 1 by 3 pi r square h here h is nothing but 2 r two times of the radius diameter is nothing but two times of the radius so in the place of h i am going to apply the value pi r square into 2 r here 2 twos are 4 by 3 pi r square into r is r cube cubic units is the volume of the sphere now we want to find the volume of the hemisphere now volume of the solid hemisphere means half of the sphere is the solid hemisphere right this is the sphere means half of the sphere we have already found out the volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube so volume of the solid hemisphere means half of this is 1 by 2 into 4 by 3 pi r cube 2 2 will be cancel so we get 2 by 3 pi r cube cubic units is the volume of the solid hemisphere next we see the volume of the hollow sphere next volume of a hollow sphere means imagine it is a, a like a tennis ball or some other balls like this right the in tennis ball inside there is not a Now this field, anything is not filled in the inside the tennis ball, right? So the volume of a hollow sphere means we know the volume of the sphere is equal to four by three pi r cube, right? So hollow means here we have the inner radius and the outer radius, two radius. So outer radius minus inner radius, the volume of outer radius minus volume of inner radius is four by three pi capital R cube minus four by three pi small r cube cubic units is the formula either we can take commonly 4 by 3 pi will be taken out commonly or we can leave here itself that is if you take 4 by 3 pi will be taken out commonly r cube minus r cube 
cubic units is the volume of the halo sphere now we see the volume of halo hemisphere now see the volume of a halo hemisphere the tennis ball is cut into half means we can see the inner portion here the inner radius is or outer radius is capital r right then the volume of the halo sphere the volume of the halo sphere is 4 by 3 then hemisphere means half of that that is half of the volume of sphere that is r cube minus r cube here 2 2 will be cancel then the volume means 2 by 3 pi into r cube minus r cube cubic units is the volume of the halo hemisphere half of the sphere half of the halo sphere is half of the halo hemisphere or we can say it is a volume of a outer hemisphere minus volume of a inner hemisphere we know that hemisphere formula is the hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi r cube the outer is capital r inner is small r right so 2 by 3 pi r cube minus r cube outer minus inner hemisphere volume of inner hemisphere next we see the volume of the frustum of cone here is the cone shape means the total is h is the height right and then this is take it as small h let this radius is capital r this radius is small r so we have to find the volume means of volume of the cone total cone 1 by 3 pi r square h right pi r square h volume of the total cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h is the formula minus volume of this cone some minus of this portion so total volume we have find out that and then we want to subtract this portion means see 1 by 3 pi small r square only this portion only now first we have to find out the total volume minus this cone right r square here we want to find the height means capital h minus small h the total height minus this h minus h is the term so we have the form and then the h is equal to the capital h is equal to capital r square minus small r square right this r square r is equal to okay let it and then finally we can take the terms commonly outside means pi h pi h divided by 3 will be taken out this term will be multiplied here means 1 by 3 pi r square h minus into minus plus 1 by 3 pi r square h right so finally if you reduce this we get the formula pi h divided by 3 into r square plus capital r small r plus r square is the formula that cubic units of the frustum of the cone if you reduce this multiplying this we get the formula the volume of the frustum of cone is pi h divided by 3 into r square plus capital r small r plus small r square is the cubic units is the volume of the frustum of the cone thank you students